Understanding this one thing is going to make you a six-figure Etsy seller. And that one thing is that you need to focus on your customer. So in this video, I'm going to give you three things that are going to help you focus on that customer. Number one is research. Guys, if you really want to know what people are looking for, what people are liking, you have to spend time doing the research. That's the only way that you're going to get better at giving people what they're looking for. So when you're researching, you're literally letting your eyes soak everything that you see and you're letting your brain take everything in. You're looking at everything, colors, fonts, patterns, placements, everything that you see. It's like rabbit holes are your best friends. It's not like step one, you do this. It does not work like that. You literally can start broad, like women's gift, women's shirts, women's sweatshirts. You can even research outside of the products that you sell. You can even research outside of Etsy, depending on what demographics you're selling for. You might want to go into more like trending websites, but research inspiration is literally everywhere, guys. Like I like to go on Starbucks like for the on the weekends, and my kids like K-pops. And right now, like the K-pop for the seasons is where like on the fall season is a raccoon. And you know that raccoons have been crazy hot all over Etsy. So if my coffee shop brought that because they know people are liking that, what makes you think that you get to just add whatever you want and people are going to buy your items? It does not work like that. Unless you want this to be a hobby, then keep making what you want to make. But if you truly want to change your life, if you truly want to make money in this business, you have to make it about the customer. And the way that you make it about the customer is by researching, is by learning what they're liking. And you have to spend more time doing this than even designing. Whether you have five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour, I don't care how much time you have, find the time to do this. Spend more time doing this than anything else. To this point, this is the number one thing that I do, guys. I do this like literally every day, multiple times a day. This is what's going to make you money. And if you want a little bit of guidance with it, make sure that you do check out my research video. I'm going to be leaving a link for it in the description below. It's going to kind of give you a guidance of how I do research, but your research doesn't have to look like this. It's just kind of me giving you a little help. After you watch that video, if you still need more hand-holding, make sure that you do check out my membership because on that membership, I have a ton and ton of videos that help you do research inside and even outside of Etsy. Number two is that you need to take your favorites, your views, and most importantly, yourself seriously. Guys, when somebody buys something from you, like when you're a brand new seller and somebody decided to trust you enough and they buy something from you, take that seriously. Because this is the thing, when you don't have a lot of sales or even reviews, it's a lot harder for somebody to trust you. So if you start to have sales on an item, don't ignore that. Look at the item, study it, what about it? Like is it like the mock-up, the fonts, the graphic, what is it about it? And of course, if you don't have sales right now, what things are getting favorite? what things are getting viewed. And again, I don't want you to look at this to become obsessed with your stats because this is not about just being like, oh my God, uh, I've only had one view. Oh, I only had two views. No, it's not about that. I need you to look at this information as to like, how can you add more things or how can you like, you know, figure out more what people are liking. If you cannot look at that information like that, then please don't be checking your stats every single day because it's not going to help you. But I do need you to look at it to how to further yourself because information is power. And you can use views to see, okay, people are liking this. Okay, maybe I can use this thumbnail more, right? Okay, maybe I should use this font in more designs. Maybe, you know, I should use this graphic in more designs, right? Like, look at it from that perspective. You can even, like, for example, when somebody favors something, you can even click on that customer, and it will show you all the items that they have favored. And that can also help you learn and see what are the things that customer is liking, but again, if you cannot look at this from the perspective of like, how can I give people more of what they're looking for? Or how can I learn more of what people are looking for? Then don't do this step because I don't want you to become so obsessed with like views and stats that you can't even move forward. Look at it from the perspective of how can you get better at offering people more of what they're looking for. The third thing that I want to add is that you need to take customer messages seriously. 
Guys, when people message you, you cannot take that lightly because you got to think about this. A lot of people are not going to message you. For example, if you have a listing and somebody sends you a message like, hey, can you offer this or can this be offered in the color black? Like there's probably a ton more people that also have that same question, but they're just going to go into your listing. And if you don't offer it, they're going to assume that you just don't have it. They're not going to take the time to message you. So think about the one customer that took the time to message you. Think that that could be like five, 10, 15 plus other customers that are not going to take the time to message you. So when someone messages you, think about it. Okay. Oh, they're asking me, okay, oh, I offer this, you know, do I offer this in black or, oh, have you ever thought about offering it into this niche? Like whatever the question that they're asking you, you should look at those questions and be like, okay, well, maybe I should consider adding the design, the design in black, like if it makes sense, or maybe I should add it to this niche. Of course, if the customer is asking you to do something that's super specific that nobody else is looking for on Etsy, then maybe adding it as like a whole listing is not going to make sense. But if they're asking you simple questions like, can this be offered in black? Yeah, of course, you can duplicate that listing and offer it in black. Or can you add it to like this niche? Like, of course, if that niche also sells on Etsy, you can do that too. And guys, I'm telling you, when customers have messaged me and they've asked me questions like this, and I go and add that listing, that listing begins to sell. So please don't ignore messages. Don't ignore what people are telling you. Don't think that, oh my God, why they're being so annoying? Why are they asking me this? Why can't they just take it how it comes? Because people are the ones that will tell you what they're liking. You cannot ignore them because they are the ones that are going to help you make more money. You make more money by listening to what they have, have to say. Of course, if they're asking for something that's super customized, yeah, you can't add that. But it's little, if it's little simple tweaks like offering the design another color, you know, offering to like another niche, or maybe um, changing the font, like those are things that you can duplicate those listings. And I'm telling you guys, like when I've done that, those designs sell to you. And it's because again, one person is gonna take the time to message you. Everybody else is just going to move on and just assume that you don't offer that. So the one person that messaged you or the two, two or three, whoever messaged you and are asking you those same type of questions, pay attention to that. Those are clues of what things, of what people are looking for, what people are liking. And even if that customer is even chatty, you can even ask them like, okay, what is it about this design that you like? And they will tell you like, oh, I really like the graphic or I like the way you did the font. Those are also like clues or that will also give you more ideas of, okay, maybe I should add this graphic into, you know, this other niches, or maybe I should keep adding this font into this other designs. So if your customers are like reaching out to you, use that information to help you span and even ask them further questions because they are going to guide you guys. This is a customer centric business. You need customers to make money unless you want to run a hobby. If you want to run a hobby, you do that. You ignore all of these tips and keep doing what you're doing. But if you truly want to make money, if you really want to get to six figures, you have to take your ego out of it. You cannot sit here and think that you know best and your designs are amazing and what you're adding is what people want. Because unless you are creating things based of research, based of what people are looking for, based of all the messages, messages that you're getting from customers, you are going to get nowhere. So guys, you made it to the end of this video. And again, if you want a more research video that kind of guides you of how I do it, make sure you check out this video next because on that video, I give you like a whole like step-by-step -step of how I conduct research inside and outside of Etsy. See you in the next one.